What is turbulence? Are you afraid from turbulence? Let's discuss this. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anas Hamira, I'll be your camera. So the turbulence is, it's like with airflow, because when the airplane fly like this, the airflow goes above the wing and under the wing, it's all around the airplane body, okay? And it's smooth, so we have a smooth flight. But sometimes we have some turbulence, bumpiness. Why? Simply, I will, I will give you a simple example. If you are driving your car in a smooth, well-paved street, what will happen? You're gonna have a smooth ride. But if you face a hump or a hole, what will happen? This hole and hump disturbed the smoothness of the street. So if you are facing a hump, simply you're gonna get over the hump, feel a disturbance, okay, and then we'll continue your smooth ride. And it's the same. The airplanes fly in a smooth air smooth airflow and once they face disturbed irregular airflow because of many reasons we're gonna discuss it later this make a disturbance movement and that makes you shaky some little bumpiness in their flight so what is the causes let's discuss the causes the causes could be the clouds thunderstorms mountains jet streams temperature inversions, and so many. I don't want to get into these things now. Let's make it simple. But how does the pilot avoid the turbulence? Simply by knowing the cause. Before we prepare the flight, we look at these charts called significant weather chart. And such charts give us a clear idea and a clear view of the significant weather, like moderate turbulence, moderate icing, and above so we can't find the light turbulence here but we can find the moderate and the extreme turbulence it causes by jet stream or clear air turbulence or we check the winds um, chart so we can know the tropopause we will discuss this later but it doesn't matter now extreme and moderate turbulence if it shows in this chart we check the areas and we try to avoid them or if we are gonna fly into these areas, we take the precautions like reducing their speed, putting the seat belts on, and brief the cabin crew that we're gonna have a turbulence so they can brief the passengers. Although, as a captain, I do announcement and inform the passengers that we gonna have some light bumpiness during our flight. So please, stay cool, strap your seat belt, and enjoy the flight. But the question is, some people, they think that the turbulence gonna break the airplane and the airplane will go down. Is that true? I'll be honest with you. If it's extreme turbulence, it may damage the airplane and it may make a structural damage. But such extreme turbulence, it's rarely to find it in our ways, in our airways. And if we have it on front of us, we're gonna avoid it because we have a chance and this could be detected. And if we suddenly face such turbulence, we're gonna take an actions like changing the flight level, the altitudes, going up or down, or going right or left, reducing their speed, and so many things. So at the end of the day, most of the turbulence, like light, moderate, severe, the airplane can take this control because the airplane is designed in a way to take the pressure it made from aluminium and titanium and so many um, materials we're gonna discuss this later but the flexibility okay of the wings of the elevators of the horizontal stabilizer are so flexible that can make the airplane take such a pressure imposed by such aerodynamic change so if you are sitting here and you saw the wing is moving up and down that's simple that's normal because the wing has to move up and down has to be flexible otherwise if the wing is rigid 
it will break and the airplane will fall. God forbid in that. Now you understand what is the turbulence. It's something normal, something we face every day. And be sure that the pilots in the cockpit are taking the necessary action to make your flight smooth and safe. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube video and my Instagram, Pilot Amire. If you have any question, any inquiry, please contact me in contact at pilotamire.com and you can check my website www.pilotamire.com for more informations and articles. Thank you so much and thank you for watching.